We are the first responders to this epidemic. Uh, we are the first ones on scene. Uh, we're the first ones gathering evidence. We're the first ones administering Narcan. First responders on the front lines of the opioid epidemic are busier than ever responding to overdoses. In 2017, the Knoxville Fire Department responded to an average of two overdose calls every day. Last July, we rode along with officers from the Knoxville Police Department to see the challenges they face. And one year later, we wanted to do the same thing to see if there has been any progress. 10 News reporter Mark Salinger shows us how the response to overdoses has changed. Mark. Robin and John, it took less than two hours on a Friday afternoon for us to get our first drug related call. What came next was a glimpse at the reality first responders face every day on the front lines of the overdose epidemic. Knox County 911, where is your emergency? My sister has, I'm not sure if she's under the influence of drugs or not. She swears she's not, but she, I mean, she's a threat to herself and others at this point. We already have people on the way to help you, okay? Just stay on the line with me for just a second, okay? They called 911 and stated that she has been doing heroin and wanting to hurt herself. Friday, July 6th, 2018, 5.34 p.m. There's also kids in the home and a lot of yelling and screaming in the background. Another day, another overdose. Some days there'll be three or four within an hour. Sergeant Sam Hennard is a 13-year veteran of the Knoxville Police Department. He's helped save lives with Narcan, seen lifeless bodies taken away after an overdose, and on this call, we'll be faced with the same challenges officers in Knoxville encounter nearly every day on the job. What's wrong with you? I have two pocket knives in my back pocket. If okay. You know, please. The call came in as a suicide. The woman has hit rock bottom. What are you on? What kind of drugs are you on? What have you taken? We just need to know. You're not in trouble. We just need to know. She's been high on drugs for days. Now she says she wants to die. So you've, you've just used meth, you haven't used any heroin? No, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you're all right. We got an ambulance oh coming. God. As bad as the scene may look, this woman is one of the lucky ones. She's still alive. Her sister called 911 for help before she could overdose. This is actually the second time I've had to call to get her help in a crisis and I'm lost. I just want to save her life. Crystal Tippins wanted to speak with us about her sister's drug habits after she was transported to the hospital. She knows the effect drugs can have on a family. Her mom died from an overdose. Her best friend OD'd last month. Her cousin fell victim before. There are success stories all the time, and I just hope that she becomes one of those. I don't want her to become a statistic. As Sergeant Hennard searches through the woman's car, they, they kind of call this a uh, to go box. He finds something he often encounters on drug calls. You've got the syringes here, which she's been using uh, in her arms, and the spoons here that the, uh, they put the drugs on. But also something he's never seen before. This is goodbye. My chances are broken, so I'm okay with my death. Cards addressed to her kids, her sisters, and her family. Thank you for not leaving me when I need you the most. I have two of the best sisters in the world. I don't know what I would do without you guys. I love you guys more than you will ever know. A final goodbye in case she didn't make it through her next high. This is all because she thought she was going to die. Today, it wasn't goodbye, perhaps a second chance. My sister deserves life and a better one. As the ambulance pulled off, so did Sergeant Henner. That's an everyday occurrence for us to go to these calls. On to the next call. It's something we've been dealing with for several years and unfortunately keep dealing with. On to the next overdose. And in the past year, Knoxville Police started using a new code for overdose calls in particular. Officers are now forced to double bag evidence also, fearing they could be exposed to the potent drug fentanyl and overdose themselves. Robin and John. It's mind numbing to think this happens over and over again. Mark, thank you. So this month so far, eight people have died of a suspected drug overdose in Knox County alone. It's according to the district attorney general's office, and that brings the total this year to 161 compared to 294 in all of last year.
If you or someone you know is struggling with addiction, we do have a list of resources. You can find that online at WBIR.com. Just go to the menu at the top of the screen, click on the features tab, then scroll down and choose OD epidemic. That will take you to the OD epidemic page. All that at WBIR.com. And later this month, you can dispose of prescription medications that you don't need anymore. We are teaming up with the Metro Drug Coalition for a drug tape back. It's Friday, July 20th from noon until 6 in our lower parking lot here at Channel 10.